pretty good, man. Wow, this is exciting. John here, guys, and today we're talking about the iFlight C85 HD. Finally, finally, finally. I've been searching for something of this formula, it seems like forever, for years, and now it's finally here. And you know what it is I've been searching for? I've been searching for something that was a whoop style with guards, with ducks, that could fly indoors carrying an action camera and still actually fly like it's not super underpowered and also at the same time not be so heavy that one wrong twitch of the thumb and it would go crashing through a window. And this is it. This thing is right at about 100 grams as it sits with Crossfire. They have their own custom little mini Crossfire, Crossfire Immortal T antenna. I really like that. The motors are pushed away from the frame to give you a really awesome center of gravity there. It flies really well inside on a 3S. I flew it inside on a 3S 450. And then for outside, I put on a small 450 4S. Let's go over the build quickly. This is a pusher style, as you can see. It does have a carbon frame and a plastic duck guard frame below. There is two inch quad blade props on here. And I was like, two inch, you know, we've been through this before and they never have enough power um, to carry anything. But the trick is they have stepped up the size of the motor. This is a 1303 3000 kV motor. So going a little bit higher in size, spending a little bit of that weight on the size of the motor and putting a quad blade on there gives you a lot more control. You see what happens is when you try to go too small and too light, you actually end up losing that control. So the if, if you were to go 20 grams lighter and put a much tinier motor on there. I just checked out this other Ishin thing or Happy Model thing, the Cine 8, and that thing struggled. It was lighter, but the motors were so small, it didn't have the power to recover. One false move and it would do this pendulum effect. If you ever flown a drone that's underpowered, you know that if you get it off axis, it'll just go and fly super far straight into the wall or your cat. And so the way to avoid that is to have enough power to actually control itself. And this is it. Um, yeah, this is perfect. So this holds the Insta360 Go perfectly well. I could fly it around the house as confidently as I would an Emacs Tiny Hawk. Uh, I just was blown away at how much control this thing affords you. Uh, but it's not perfect. The way it flies is absolutely great. The way it's built is absolutely great. It has a TPU protector on the bottom that acts as sort of a landing guard as well. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, the thing that I hate though, this mount. Now you do see an Insta360 GO2 on there, but the only reason that's there is because I designed this mount. And I designed a mount for the to screw into the little mount that was there, right? It has sort of a GoPro style mount with the little loops and you could just design something to fit in there. But it's not a GoPro style. So a standard GoPro two prong mount with the holes is not gonna fit. It's some other smaller size that's meant to go with the naked GoPro. I couldn't find anything on Thingiverse, but I really wanted to put this camera on here. So I designed my own mount. And the, the mount where our, the part where it actually mounts onto is so fiddly that I was getting massive amounts of jello because I had flex. So I was just like, you know what? This is another one of those Cine whoops that just belongs in the garbage. And I was gonna just make a review saying that. And then I was like, well, maybe I should just redesign another mount. But the problem is in order to get something that would be more stable, I had to redesign the actual mount to the camera as well. I had to redesign the camera mount that would hold the FPV Nebula Pro camera and then make a piece that would actually hold it so it doesn't attach, it's all one piece. And I would have to replace the one that came with it, print it out, and I was like, do I really want to spend that much time on iFlight, helping iFlight out? Like, I mean, okay, I, I, they sent me the product. I do appreciate that. 
But I'm glad I did, guys, because once I did, that got rid of the jello, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this for years. iFlight has struck gold with this formula. Somebody over there is really working hard to give you the thing that fits in the palm of your hand that can actually carry one of these action cameras and have the power to actually do so. Now, outdoors, <laughs> It doesn't fly as great if there's any wind. So you're gonna to wanna to call fly this on a calm day. Again, outdoors, I would suggest 4S, 3S inside. It does come with the Nebula um, Pro, which is fantastic. Good job on that iFlight. iFlight um, all-in-ones are generally okay, especially for this size. So I don't think you're gonna to have to worry about anything. I love that it comes with crossfire and the mounts in the front. So you get really good reception there. Uh, one thing that I hate is that there's virtually no camera protection. I mean, you're basically sticking the camera right out in front of you. It would be like if you were an animal and like evolution evolved you to have like your genitals like sticking out that you would just get hit in the genitals all the time. Like that's literally the weakest part, the only part that you don't want to bang and it's sticking out. Uh, now I know what you're thinking, well, didn't you redesign this camera mount? Why didn't you fix that? Uh, I don't know, I just modeled it after iFly, what iFly already had and okay. So I'll give you guys this camera mount. Um, I like to have the Insta360 a little bit loose so it's easier to come out, but I still it still fits in there good, so there's no jello as you can see. Um, fantastic combo though. Like there is a little bit of frustrations. I'm gonna upload this file. Again, somebody may wanna do a better job. I would suggest somebody remix this and actually add some camera protection. That would really make this thing nine or 10 out of 10. Not everybody has a printer though. If you do, then this is absolutely fantastic. If Especially if you have this Insta360 Go or the Go 2 like I have here. Um, it's not perfect though, but with a little bit of tweaking, with a little bit of Word Confusion 360, I was able to make mine something that I've been chasing after for years. So I'm glad that iFlight really got us close enough um, to get there. So of all of these small little two inch center whoops, this one's the magic combo that I've been looking for. Now, a lot of them do have enough power to fly outside, but then they're too fast, too heavy, too wild to fly controllably at super, super, super low speeds. And this one finally does it. I can fly it in the house with the same amount of confidence as I would a tiny whoop. And that's fantastic. What do you think in the comments, guys? Are you flying any of these micros with action cameras inside of anywhere? Um, part of me is, tends to tell people, why do you wanna fly a GoPro inside of your house? Um, it has image stabilization on there, so you might as well just walk around with it, holding it in your hand. Uh, but this is a different level. This is a under 100 gram quad. This is a 27 gram, gram? gram camera, so. It's a bit of a horse of a different color. What do you think in the comments, guys? Are you flying or walking or even using action cameras inside anywhere? Um, this is definitely something that would be very fun. I don't know if you're really gonna get professional enough footage out of the Insta360 GO 2 to use it for any commercial or real estate type of stuff, but this is an absolutely fun thing and it would be easily a good picnic flyer as well. Thanks, guys.